Hey there, party people, Dandolf here, and let's welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Let's Play. I'm sure you notice I have a new skin. I uh, decided it was time. Uh, the first skin I was rocking, I randomly picked when I first picked up the uh, Switch to the computer version of Minecraft. I was playing on Xbox for a long time. And then, um, yeah, I decided, you know what, I need to take the time, I need to make my own skin. So here it is, I hope you guys like it. Um, and then I have something that I uh, <laughs> need to confess here. Um, so I was showing off my new skin to Reyes on the server on this wall here. And I'd taken off all my armor. And I jumped off here and didn't have anything on and splatted and died. Notice I have no levels. I did get all of my stuff back, fortunately. But <laughs> it, was, it was quite embarrassing. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at what we have going on here. So, first of all, this is the start of Reyes's new project. He's building over near our castle here, um, and he is building kind of like, uh, in the sense of Mordor, and he's going to build a tower here in the middle, and I think it's going to look really awesome. He's done some really cool stuff in here already, um, so he's doing a great job over here. Uh, but so let's uh, head back over to uh, where we're building our supermarket. I've made some progress over there, and I kind of wanted to show you start off the episode by showing you guys uh, what we've done over there. Uh, some design choices have been made, and uh, I kind of want to show you where things are going. Um, and I also want to talk about uh, the... Episodes are going to be coming out a little bit more slowly for the Let's Play series, but that's mainly just because we're working on much larger projects, um, and I only have uh, so much time to be able to uh, record. So I'll, uh, I, I have started another series because that's a little bit easier uh, to get episodes out a little bit more frequently. Uh, doing stuff like this takes a lot of time. The grind to put all of this in took a long time. But I hope you like the way that things are going. I haven't put in any of the air ducting yet, but uh, that will be going in here as well. Uh, but this is the design style I decided on the lights. And then we've got the struts going along the ceiling to give it some structural support. Um, and then once we have the uh, polished andesite in here for the air ducting, it's going to be uh, break up this pattern a, a lot more, and once we have all the lights in, it's going to look really good. Uh, but that brings me to another thing that we will probably have to get on the um, farm to be able to make end rods. I'm going to need a lot of end rods for for this room because this is going to take two end rods per light. This is, you know, 15 lights all the way down. I'm going to need probably five or six at least stacks of end rods to be able to do that. Um, I have put some cores fruit out here to be able to start gathering up some more of that. As you can see, I've got more plants, so I can hopefully start working on that farm pretty soon, which is great. And then uh, potentially a blaze farm. So we'll see if I can get uh, all of that done in, in an episode or not. But I definitely want to continue making progress on this. I do have a few stacks of end rods. Um, somewhere in here, uh, stack there, and I have 43 here, so almost two stacks of end rods. So I should be able to get a pretty decent amount of ways in here with this. Um, these lamps will probably be spaced out more than these were, so this will probably be you know over here or so where it starts to get dark. And yeah, that's kind of the way things are going. So I'm uh, continuing the grind, continuing to make this gigantic project go, and then hopefully I'll get a, at least one farm in this episode as well. So, uh, once again, check out the new skin, hope you like it, and I will see you guys in a few minutes. Alright guys, so we are back, and with this last lighting fixture, we have put in all of the lighting, well, all of the root ceiling lighting, the uh, fluorescent lighting that we're putting in here. So we'll get this last one put in, and then we'll take a look at it, and then we'll start talking about what we're doing next. So this place is starting to look really crazy. These are my markers for the aisles here. And here we go, the entire ceiling covered with fluorescent lights. It's really starting to look like a supermarket in here. So the next step is, of course, we've already talked about it, is getting uh, all of the andesite uh, put into place for the air ducting vents. Uh, so I'll start working on that, and it's just going to be a little bit more random. Uh, we're going to have some sticking out, and then it's going to turn places, going to go into areas, it's going to dead end. You know, kind of look like a regular air ducting vent. So I'm going to start working on that, and I will see you back in a little bit once I have all of that going. But I think this is going really, really, really well so far. I'm really, really happy that we started to do this. 
Ooh, I missed uh, some end rods here. All right, guys, so we have put in all of our air ducting, and I think it's looking really good. We've got it all the way around throughout the building. I didn't want to put too much because I don't want it to be, like, overbearing. So we just kind of got a little bit here, a little bit there. We used uh, dark oak trap doors for the vents, and we put staircases against the wall so it looks like it's coming out of the wall. I think it's looking really, really good. It's looking really nice and really supermarket e in here so uh, i think the next kind of thing i need to do is list out the mending or the not the mending the villagers that i am interested in having in here what departments i want and kind of start working on a little bit of a layout i think that's the next best bet so i think i'm gonna start doing that so i will see you guys in a few minutes and we'll start setting up this layout together so i'll see you guys in just a few minutes Okay, so we are back, and I was going to try and do some of this on camera, but I just kept not figuring it out and having to take it down and fix it and take it down and fix it, but I think I finally have a layout that I think is going to work well. So ultimately, up here on the front is going to be our kind of checkout station. Our entrance and exit will have, you know, an entrance over there, an exit over there. You know, we'll try and make it look as much like a regular grocery store as possible. We'll have some checkout stands and everything. Then when you come into the store, you're going to see first the librarian because that's probably the villager that we're going to use the most. So I wanted to make sure that was pretty close to the front of the store. And then we also have right over here is basically anything dealing with uh, weapons or armor. So we've got the weaponsmith, toolsmith, armor, or fletcher going in here. And then we'll have the pharmacy here with the cleric. Um, back here, um, we'll have... Uh, Stone Mason back here. We'll have the Shepherd, the um, Leather Worker, and then we'll have the Cartographer here. And then we'll have everything involved with food up here in this section here, kind of making like the deli uh, market kind of area. So I think that's going to be a really good layout. I think the next step is to start getting some of this stuff uh, kind of designed. It's going to take me a little while to do that. But we'll go through area by area, and I'll check in as we're doing each zone. Um, I don't know which one I'll do first, uh, so I'll probably just have to start doing some Google searches, some Google images, and start trying to get some inspiration here because uh, I haven't done that. I've only done that for the ceiling, and I think that turned out really well, but I haven't really tried to figure out what the actual rest of the market's going to look like. So uh, I will be back to you guys once I have gotten some inspiration, but I think we're doing really well. We've got a lot of progress here today, and... Uh, Let's just keep rolling, keep trucking on this project. I think it's turning out really well. So I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Hey there, guys. We are back, and we are going to start working on the librarian section or the uh, the bookstore section of the grocery store here. Uh, we're going to have it right at the front because this is probably the one we're going to use the most. Uh, so I've been grinding out a whole bunch of books. This is how many books I had left. And then I went and collected up all my leather, collected up all my sugar cane. I'm officially out of both. Well, I have more leather now, but um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and start encasing this whole thing in bookshelves, and then ultimately we're going to have multiple different um, multiple different book vendors in here. We're going to have a lot of different uh, villagers in here, uh, five, six, maybe even a few more, uh, depending on what all books we want to have uh, being sold at the store. I've collected up some honey blocks from Reyes's farm, and uh, we're going to trap them in here that way. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start getting the uh, infrastructure of this thing in here, and we're going to start making it look a lot nicer and start getting our first department in the department store in here. So I'm really excited about this. It's going to be a lot of fun. I was really hoping I had enough books, and I don't know if I'm going to. It's been a struggle <laughs> getting this many bookshelves when I've already raided the stronghold. I was thinking about potentially going to find another stronghold just to raid more books. Um, but... I have a few left. It might be enough to finish off this department. We'll see. Uh, but I have uh, collected up a bunch of different materials that we're going to try and use. I think some fence posts in here. Uh, get some greenery in here. Make it look a little nice. I've got some flower pots and some flowers. Uh, some signs. I've definitely got a bunch of different types of trap doors. I don't really know what I'm going to use. I'll probably have to make up a few more item frames. I want to be able to put like some books and then enchanted books and item frames. Kind of some more details and that sort of thing. We'll put some carpet down here. I have... Uh, a few different colors of wool in here. I haven't decided what color is going to work best yet. Uh, and then all of the uh, items to light up underneath the floor. And then, of course, our lecterns um, for that. So I'm going to get working on this. And I will check back in you with you once I've made some progress. And this is starting to look a little bit better. So uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. And I hope you're enjoying the progress. See you in a minute. 
All right, guys, so I've got a basic design in here, and I've done a little bit of other stuff as well. I've been grinding away at this guy trying to get my first mending guy in here, but uh, it hasn't quite worked out yet. But let me show you what I've done. So I've got all the bookcases in kind of like this. I'm taking some paintings on the wall to kind of make it look more eclectic. Bookshops always kind of look that way. Then I'll probably do some other carpets and stuff after I have all the villagers in. Um, and more decorations with like barrels and st things like that. But they'll try and take that prof profession, so I have to be careful with that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what's going on here. Let me show you what I've got uh, for my villager uh, collection system. Basically, it's a long minecart track with powered rails and a redstone torch just right next to it. Very simple. It comes all the way down, and as you can see, it goes into the villager breeder. So basically what I do is very simple, and we can go ahead and do this. I could use another villager up there. Oops. So I've got it set up to where the train goes right outside of the uh, doors here. So we just go into the second door here. We close this off. We go ahead and open this one up. And we hope somebody goes out. If not, we just kind of shove somebody and try and get them to go into the minecart. Once we get them into the minecart, we just kind of push it and it goes on its way. So this guy's getting pretty close. Come on, get in there, get in there. No. Working with mobs is always the worst. If you've ever done it, like, I applaud you. It is not fun. Get in the minecart, get in the minecart, get in the minecart. No, there goes my minecart. And let's try round two here. Hey, look at this cool minecart. Don't you want to get in there? Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Get in the minecart. Do it. Yeah, you're so close to it. Yeah, do it. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Now we'll try and catch him. See him going up the track. Yeah, there he goes. Nice. So we'll do that a bunch more times in the upcoming future. Uh, this is how we're going to get all of our villagers up there. And then if that breeder is working properly, it should automatically produce more babies for us while we're working on this thing. So we should never really run out of villagers to keep filling this thing in. Um, if we end up needing to put more beds down somewhere, we'll end up doing that. But now look, perfect. We've got our second villager just sitting right here ready to go. But I'm going to keep grinding out this guy and hoping that I can get him into a mending or a silk touch or uh you know something useful here um i want to go ahead and get these villagers in place and going and let's see what we got projectile protection nah useless so oh goodness did not mean to do that hopefully no golem saw it okay sorry guy i didn't mean to chop you with an axe and isn't this the way it always happens like four or five replacements of this after and boom mending Reduced price, 15 emeralds. That's already half price from what I've already got. I don't know why he's giving me such a good price, but I will take it. That's great. Awesome. Perfect. First guy, done. Second guy, you're just sitting here on this. We're going to go ahead and release you from your minecart. We can take this away now. And place your new one down here. Come find it. Something good, something good, something good, something good. Punch two. Not great, guy. Not great. But thank you for trying. Howdy there, folks. We are back, and we are making some progress here in the Superstore. I've got a bunch of villagers in here. So, this guy was being a punk here. This Silk Touch guy. So I had a Silk Touch. And I think I learned something new about villagers uh, that if you put down a station and then you trade with them and then you break it, they keep their trades. So that's something new to me because I had found a cheaper silk touch for 14 emeralds. So I wanted to get this guy to be silk touch and then this guy to be something else. But of course, uh, he didn't want to change. So I tried to let him out so that I could get him out of the building and then he jumped in here with this other guy. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to get one guy out of here. That's going to be a big old pain in the butt. But anyways, I've got looting three for 12 emeralds. I've got fortune three. Oh, I didn't put the price on here. Fortune three for 11 emeralds. That's actually a really good price. So let me fix that. Fortune three. Whoops. 
11 emeralds. Fortune 3. Beautiful. Then we've got over here Unbreaking 3 for 17 emeralds. Then, like we already saw, we've got Silk Touch here. We've got Feather Falling 4 because I needed a 7th one, and uh, that's what came up first. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, then we've got Mending here for 36. I'll definitely have to grind that out and try and get that cheaper. And then we've got Efficiency 5 for 17 emeralds. So I think that's turning out really well. We've got all of our trades set up, and I did do a trade with all of them. I have all these extra books now, which is great. Um, and then so now what I think I'm going to do is finish doing some decorations in here. I want to make it look more bookstory. So I definitely want some sort of entrance here. And I kind of want to enclose the whole thing and then kind of wall it off a little bit, I think. I, th I kind of want it to look a little bit more like a mall than a grocery store in some places because the wide open concept, I don't know if I really want to go for that. But if I put some glass there, it kind of encases it and kind of gives me both feels. So I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to knock out some of the flooring and put some blue carpets so I can get a little bit more light in here. It is still a little bit dark. And then I want to change out the rest of the floor that's not covered with carpet with probably like some oak wood or something like that to make it re feel really homey. And then I want to get some paintings on the wall because I think that'll help look at a lot more, look a lot more eclectic. And then I think with the idea that we're going to try and close it off, I'll take some white concrete and I'll basically build all the wall. It's not going to go all the way to the ceiling, but it'll go a little bit higher than these books to kind of separate these two areas. Um, so I'm going to start working on decorating this place and I will be back to you guys in a few minutes. So I'm happy with the progress we're making. So I'm going to keep making more progress. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back and we have done everything we said we're going to do and a little bit more. So let's take a look at what is going on in here. So we made the archway with the entrance and I kind of left the wall kind of low in the front. And I think that actually looks pretty nice. Um, so we've got an entrance here come in and we've got a little seating area with some enchanted books on the wall um, got the carpet in with the lights under the carpet and I think everything's looking really nice with the extra paintings on the wall uh, lifted up here I mean I think it's still looking still pretty uh, supermarkety I think it's looking pretty good so I think we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next section which I think is going to be uh, the food mart because I think that's gonna be the easiest way to get emeralds to be able to trade so I think that's what we're gonna do next is work on this next part over here so I need to uh, do some uh, research get some inspiration and and uh, I'll start working on that. But maybe I'll think of something else, something more interesting to do uh, for this episode because we've been working on this place a lot. So uh, let's we'll see what happens. I will see you guys in a few minutes, and who knows what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a surprise. See you in a few. All right, guys, so we are back, and like I said, we were going to do something a little bit more fun, and I've been thinking that, you know... I don't have quite enough shulker boxes, I don't think. I think I need a few more because what happens is I start a project and I put all my shulker boxes down and then I start another project and I need all the shulker boxes from the other project that have all my stuff in it and then I have to go empty all my stuff and then it just turns into a big jumbled mess. So I need more shulker boxes. I'm gonna go get some more shulker boxes. Let's go to the end. As you can tell, I'm wearing my backup gear. I have an inventory full of crap that's gonna be useful and I'm going to actually put our friend away because we will die in this process. Not saying we will die by enemies. We will die by jumping off of the edge of the end. And I don't want to accidentally forget our dear friend Lucky in our hand while we're doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and put Lucky right here. And then I also have uh, this in my inventory for whatever reason. I also won't need a bed. And while we're doing this, I could also go for... Oops. I could also go for a bucket of water. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to go into the nether, or into the end, I mean, and start flying around, and I'll show you some clips of stuff that, uh, s s interesting things that happened. That's basically about it, because most of it is just flying around aimlessly. So let's go ahead and jump in here. I don't know if you've seen my end, but it's very plain, very boring. Keep your head down. You definitely don't want to look at any of the Endermans. Go ahead and get my hotbar set up here. So we're going over this way to get to the actual end. There it is. Be 
beautiful. And in the end we go. So we're gonna go which direction? Let's see, uh, this way straight on is west. Sounds good. Or do we wanna go east? You know what? Let's go east. East sounds like fun. Looks like there's nothing there. We'll find something. So I'm gonna keep the record button going, uh, but I'm gonna turn off all the volume and stuff like that. So I'm doing that right now. So we are going to get started and I will see you guys in a few minutes and you'll see kind of, uh, you know, the more interesting things that happen on this trip. See you in a bit. Well, let's take a look at the loot that we got. That was very successful. I had actually a lot more luck than I usually do finding in cities. That was only about an hour and a half in the end, and we came out with a lot of good stuff here. So what we've got is 64 plus 12, 76 shulker boxes. That's great. I managed to get two more elytras as well. Oh, and I forgot to get my second dragon head, but that's fine. We got seven actual diamonds, 11 emeralds, and a bunch of diamond gear. This is just my stuff I took in there, but a bunch of diamond gear. Some of it with good stuff, some of it not with good stuff. This is just my gear. 
But yeah, we made some great profit here. So we did great today. I think we did really good. Stack and a half of gold, some iron. Awesome. I'm very happy with how that went. Five extra ender chest. Awesome. I'm very happy with that. I am glad that we did that. And I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a change of pace. We've been doing a lot of building lately. And uh, this is a bit more uh, adventure, a little bit more fun. And we needed the shulker boxes anyways, because I'm tired of having to pick them up off the floor every time I'm doing a project. So uh, with that, guys, I think we're going to call it a day. But thank you guys for joining us. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one, guys. I will see you later. Take it easy.